No, it's homeless people barbecuing in the park. Holy crap. Hey guys, let's go have a barbecue. I stole some firewood from the guy up the road. It's all right. What are we gonna cook? Well, in the dumpster back there, I just saw some old chicken. It's fine. I'm certain it didn't put it in there because salmonella, because it didn't smell that bad. Just a little. Oh my goodness. It's just everywhere. I just listened to my favorite radio station out here in San Diego. It's from Mexico, 91X. And we're entering the Twilight Zone. <laughs> and right when I get into town, look what I see. This is just as I'm seeing it, guys. Just I'm just driving around. This is as I see stuff. Look, there we are. The first homeless camp I've seen just lovely entering town. That is just great. That's just something you want to see right when you come into town on the 163. But then I see more of it coming up ahead. So you guys uh, just stay tuned. Uh, we'll be taking a look to uh, see what we can find around here about homeless and uh, the shite that uh, is going on all throughout the state of California as the mismanagement of the state tends to lead to stuff like this. A beautiful tent city. Just lovely. That is just great. Step on a hypodermic needle right when you come into town. How about that? Here's more. And oh my God. This is just horrifying. And I mean, they have to have Oh my god, just a lady, just somebody just laying on the ground. Oh, and that's okay. This is okay. Oh, we're helping them. We're leaving them on the ground so they can, you know, fester and, and leave needles everywhere for our children to walk on. That just sounds like a great idea. Yeah, you could just say to an innocent child, just step on the hypodermic needle and if it's got a little fentanyl in it and you die, it's fine. Because we don't want to do anything to hurt these homeless people. They're hurting themselves. They're going to die, you guys. They're doing drugs in public. You know, isn't that illegal? I, I just don't understand. And there's not graffiti on that wall over there. Nope, nope, that's not graffiti. Nope. And in downtown, they have one of these really good discount grocery places. I was on my way out to see the largest homeless RV camp in the state of California, which is like 500 RVs within two square miles. But... We got disappointed with some rain, so I looked in the local weather map and it said no rain in San Diego right now, but it doesn't look like uh, it will be for very long. So let's hope we get enough video up here. Get you guys an eye full of public drug use. Well, I can tell you guys, for a long, long time, my great grandmother, she lived in Paris, okay? And my dad grew up with her and my real blood grandmother had given up my dad to be raised by my great grandmother because she had two children and she got a divorce and she could only raise one but she lived here in downtown San Diego and it never never I have never seen that kind of homeless amount of people here oh, some other lady oh she's just doing weird stuff started just all of a sudden decided to start walking across the street I was hoping I would hit her so she could collect money and and yes she was homeless as well but my great grandmother used to my grandmother used to live down here and right about where we're at I think I don't remember exactly but um, so we I was down here quite often you know that's why I know all the local radio stations I, I travel all over the state of California I've done work all over the state of California so I know cities that most of you have never been to I've been to and driven through several times so um, yeah that's my background as far as knowing where I'm going and stuff like that um, and knowing the city's culture and stuff like that uh, yeah got another bicycle dude just doing his thing I guess watch out for those backpacks guys stuff just shows up randomly missing and it seems to be finding its way into that backpack a lot of times so yeah, she, she lived out here and you know, she lived in Escondido. So, and Escondido has become an absolute shite hole as well. And uh, the downtown area, they, there was never a homeless person ever down there. Now it's just littered with them. We'll go over there another time. 
but today I just thought, well, I'm gonna beat the rain. We'll come up to San Diego and just see what happens and what do I get? First thing I write when I come into town, just greetings. Hello, we're homeless. Oh yeah, and we're the drug using ones, of course. Cause San Diego gave us some tents to live in down here on the street. So is everyone still practicing this social distancing type of thing? Interesting. Huh. Quite interesting. Very low symptoms on the current thing here. Interesting. You know, I was for a lot of that stuff in the beginning when it was really bad because we need to figure out things, but it's just like, hey, isn't this like kind of subsided now? Uh, I'm not sure. Just interesting. And somebody thinks that this should be legal. Really. I just want you to think about that for a second. Look at the trash. And, you know, all it's going to take is one of these people to leave their needles outside for your kid to step on and their life is over. So that is absolutely safe. Just leaving them out there. Wonderful. And so sightly for the tourism. That's just really lovely. This guy over here is packing his stuff, looks like. At least he's getting his trash. It doesn't help that he's on some sort of substance. In public, you know, last time I checked, drinking and walking around in public was illegal. So was doing drugs and nobody arrests him. Hey, you guys, it's just for you guys to enjoy when you come around town. I hope you enjoyed the homeless people. And, I'm, and make sure you bring lots of change just in case uh, somebody asks you so you can give them something to contribute to their drug, drug habit. And I know I'm contributing to the traffic because I'm driving really slow and filming while I'm driving. And yeah, that's probably not legal, but uh, it's fine. How else would I show you guys these wonderful city views? It's a really nice city. It's just too bad it's just so full of garbage. Back years ago, it was very conservative. When my grandmother lived here, there was a few homeless people, of course, always is in downtowns, but nothing like that. And nobody ever camping on the street. It's just absolutely insane. I was at this light for a very long time to wait for this lovely lady over here. So all this stuff is contributing to traffic in town. And you guys, it's not just that they're homeless. These, a lot of these people steal all night long or during the day, break, break your windows because they gotta support the drug habit. habit. How else are they able to do that? A lot of them, uh, if we're talking large, large percentages of them, do stuff that is criminal acts and we are just tolerating that. It's not that we're just saying, oh, these poor homeless people, are, you know, they have no place to go, mobile. No, they are doing crime. So that's, you know, crime, filth. They're throwing garbage on the ground, you know, and everybody just kind of takes a blind eye to it. I just don't get it. It's like, when are they going to give us the parking back if they're not going to be using that area? Weird. Guess somebody had to pay for all that lumber and stuff there. It's kind of expensive. I don't know why they didn't uh, just use K rails or something. Oh yeah, and we're really environmentalists. We 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 don't want to ruin the environment. But you'll we'll just use wood. That's fine. How does wood come? from trees they just cut them down but that's fine because I need it for my restaurant K rails with a little paint on them would have been just fine for me but anyway I don't know I don't blame the restaurant owners they had to do what they had to do but you know the cities you know anyway I'm just not not excited about that but Mike you're so condescending yes and last time I checked I'm not Sticking a needle in my arm and walking around asking for change. Breaking into people's cars, breaking people's windows and all that garbage. Yeah. So, if you want to say that, that's fine. Let's hear your thoughts on that, guys. I wonder why he has two bikes. I wonder where he picked that second one up. A bike missing, you, you might want to look for this guy. The officer pulls him over. He goes, oh, no, I just got that one for a friend. Right. Don't BS me, dude. Wow. This is just crazy. What a place we live in. Sure do feel sorry for you guys. Paying to stay out here. Pay, pay good money and have to sit and crap like this and look at all this garbage. It's just crazy. Wow, nice 356. 
convert. Beautiful car, really. It's like every exit I get off on, I just see stuff like this. And people walking around aimlessly. More of it just along the freeway. This guy didn't like me stopping. It's all right, thanks for the horn. This guy's directing traffic here. He stopped and there's a little meeting place over here. It's just everywhere. Oh my goodness. Very interesting. That's a lot of stuff in that cart. Maybe we should get a remotorized one. That's be a good idea. You know, that'd be a good way to help them. Oh, can't go that direction. Be a good way to help them. Let's get them motorized carts so they can carry even more stuff because it's so heavy. How about rehab facility? Might be a little nicer. A little artwork for the people who like it. You know, the amount of money they spend on people cleaning off stuff like that and, and the tents and all that other garbage, they could probably get half these people in rehab facilities. But no, it's so attractive for the people to come and visit and see, like me. All right, I just wanted to show you these nice looking RVs around here. They're just so attractive, lovely. Ha! Huh. Just find a place, park somewheres, and make yourself at home. Well, if you want a job, there's probably plenty of people that need to be doing this. Cleanup person. Yeah, she's probably busy all day long cleaning up after these people. Yeah, so you guys are paying for it if you didn't know. If you're paying taxes, that's what pays for her to do her job. And all that trash in the street that those homeless people leave, you're paying to clean it up, just so you know. And whatever you think it really costs, about 10 times that number. And there's another one right here cleaning up and another one way up here. And the yellow vests cleaning up everybody, everything. And you can see ahead of them, they've got plenty to do. There's trash all over the ground up there. So that's the only reason we don't have piles of trash everywhere. I've been looking on the off ramps between the freeways and unfortunately I couldn't film it, but there's just mountains of trash, just mountains out there between every freeway. Ah, I think this is the gas lamp district. And of course they clean the sidewalks off over here. So that's nice. Pretty sure if you're camping on the gas lamp district, they aren't gonna let you camp. At least I think this is, I don't know. I get lost down here real easy, turned around. All I knew is how to get to grandma's house and we go walking from there. So I don't remember all the places, but uh, yeah. In fact, I get lost even trying to find her place. This guy has kind of found his own time to go across the light here. Let's film him. Huh. Why not? Another guy over here kind of directing traffic. Interesting. What does he have, one shoe on? Wow. No, he's not, he's not on anything, nothing. He's just what do they call that, uh, crazy, or I don't know what they call that, whatever. You know, the excuse people make, it's drugs. Sorry guys, it is drugs. I don't know what happened, I just started sticking a needle in my arm and then I got weird and it's crazy, crazy, I went crazy. I was smoking this stuff and I just don't know what happened. This weird stuff I was smoking, I thought it was pot, but it just made me really strange and now I'm crazy. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. There they are, sweeping it all up, chimney Christmas. And look at this, they even have a red bicycle lane. God. I'm riding a bicycle and just in case I get wrecked into, I need to find out who I can sue. It's like, dude, if you're riding a bicycle, just don't run into any cars, just do whatever you need to do. It's like crazy. Oh, we need all this extra money spent on bike lanes and all this other stuff. I mean, yeah, there's some of that's necessary, but this is just nuts. Oh, here's the guy again. Hmm. You'll find out whose bike that is pretty soon. 
You know, a fine young gentleman over there. A couple of them. You guys can see them both. Literally, they're everywhere. I can't even film them all. Wait, the blanket man. Another Linus. Wow. Motel 6. That has just got to be lovely. Definitely on the not list. You know, a lot of these guys, the ones I feel sorry for, they're probably veterans. You know, that's just not, that shouldn't ever happen. Anybody who's a veteran should be able to make a 800 telephone call and situation resolved. I have almost like the Salvation Army, a place for them to stay, get rehabbed, get the job, go to treatment for their alcohol, go to treatment for their drugs, and just be back in the system doing something. Or in a group home, whatever, but they shouldn't be on the streets. I'm just not getting it. Social distancing, I suppose. Interesting. Wow. When do we just call it? Looking for something? Yeah, that, you know, it's just like totally occupied. It's like Sunday afternoon. You'd think every seat would be taken out here if it was really that bad. Uh, it's just no place to park then. That's fine. We don't need parking. And again, you don't see the homeless people camp down the middle of this road, do you? Nope. Lots of attractive people around, though. Wow. And I'm certainly not one of them. Nope, no campers allowed around here. All of a sudden, it's selective hearing. Oh, you can camp in front of my business down the street, because I'm not on this street. But you can't camp on this street. Hmm. Because that's our iconic area. Yeah, the liberals like to have selective hearing. Oh no, this, I don't hear that. I don't hear that. I, I just, you know, I'm in denial of that. But this, oh, we need to clean the air. We need a Tesla. Like this person has Teslas everywhere. Everybody drive a Tesla. Yeah, so you can wait 45 minutes to charge it every day at a supercharger. I just can't believe the time you would spend doing that. I mean, I have nothing against electric cars. If I had a commuting job and I have enough solar in my house, I would want to use it and charge an extra battery to use one of these. But to me, just to say I have one to be, you know, Mr. Green, nah. They're cool for, for driving, commuting, but really they take a lot of extra emissions to make them up front. And if you do like the guy I showed yesterday on a video, crash one, then you know, it didn't really make any net positive on that. It's really hard to fix those things and when the when the uh, battery they're fine they do have very little service but when they go out it's like you're stuck at the dealership for like two months because the dealers the only place that's proprietary to fix them they don't allow anybody else to fix them it's just crazy I like that right to repair by Lewis Rossman I totally support that guy he's really good and if you notice, I don't know if you can see, there's little sprinklets hitting the windshield. I really wanted to get to the other part of town where the real bad part is, but uh, hopefully we'll get over there. Downtown's kind of interesting, but it's, you know, it's hit and miss. It's, it's like a lot of homeless in one area, and then it's like in other areas, you know, it's like the city just doesn't care about certain businesses, and then other businesses they really care about. And it's just, you know, the homeless aren't here. They're not here. They're not here where they got, you know, whatever those are on the street. But they're two or three streets away, just, uh, you know, on the sidewalk. We're right, right in front of another taxpayer's business. You know, if you guys listen to my homeless and broke videos, uh, I tell people do not camp in plain sight you want to be invisible and to stay clean and don't leave any trash and the reason I say that because if you're in these groups of people they suck you into doing the drugs and the alcohol that's what they do they want you to be like them because they don't want to be alone and it makes them feel like they're not the way they really are which they're just drug addicts and thieves usually 
So if you are homeless and you're watching my video and going, oh, you're terrible, blah, 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 blah. Listen, stay away from those people because they will suck you in. There's another one over here. Oh, lovely trash. Love this. This is just lovely. It's just everything I want to see on a Sunday. And smell. Can you imagine the smell? It's lovely. Uh, and the air around here is so clean because of all the Teslas. Great. Oh, wait. We're near the airport. I don't think it's so cr no clean air around here. Oh, let's drive a Tesla so we can go fly a plane to Europe. Hmm. I'm sure they don't make any emissions, just like uh, Governor Newsom's helicopter that he flies every day, five, six, seven times a day. That's just great, but he's more important, remember. He's very important. If he flies a helicopter, it's him flying that, so, or it's him riding in that, so, you know, it's really, you know, important to have those $300 dinners with all of his buddies. Or on your, on your nickel flying the state helicopter. Honestly, if he's a real man, he should take that helicopter, sell it, and rent one when he needs it, and use a Tesla to drive around if he really thinks he wants to do what he's being a good example. But no, no. He wants to fly the helicopter and be a big badass. Cool. Whatever. Hey, Mom, let's go to San Diego on vacation so we can smell the urine and feces from all the homeless people. Wouldn't that be great? I think I'd rather pass and go out to the desert and enjoy the sand dunes or something where I don't see any of it. And look at the beautiful homes. They just put up with this, I suppose. Just beautiful sight of the ocean and everything and go down the hill and homeless. We're right up ahead. I'm sure they're not holding up any traffic at all. Just like a really busy part of town. It's fine. See, that's fine. Bikes over there. Right up our head, there's these folks waiting for the train, I suppose. Interesting. But Mike, why are you so bitter about all this stuff? It's just homeless people. See all this garbage right here? It ends up in the ocean. And none of this stuff used to be like this when I was younger. It's just completely out of hand. And now I made it all the way up into Mission Hills. Is that the same bike you guys? The other place? They just commute their way around, don't they? I'm not sure where the lines of San Diego are, the downtown, or if it's Mission Hills part of I think it's still part of San Diego, but uh, Mission Hills is a really nice area. And, of course, there's a lot of homeless people in the restaurant district area they just kind of roam around like that guy back there just makes your meal so appetizing when you walk by and smell one of those guys no it's not drug use it's mental illness you know when you have family that's mentally ill and they're in group homes I know there's group homes available guys I know it's available for mentally ill people. So don't be so naive to think that most of these people are not drug addicts. And yeah, they became mentally unstable when they became drug addicts. And nobody else but them stuck the needle in their arm. So it's just, you know, it's just making light of it, really. Those look like really weird apartments. Are they? What are they? Jeez, they just look strange. That guy doesn't look too... Uh, hmm. Okay, is that okay? Not thinking it is myself. Right in front of your business. What a drag. And cars become like sardines around here. All right, we're heading to the better parts of town now. Yep, around here, they get the handouts so they keep coming around. Just make sure you keep some spare change so you can enable their drug habit. Keep giving them money, they keep coming back. It's just a big circle. You kind of watch out for a guy like this, you know. It's really not very cold out and he's got his hoodie on. Especially when the guy's got a hoodie on, mask, and a backpack. He's just social distancing? No, no, he's not. Yep, they're out here. That was a nice little restaurant. Nope, gone now. 
I'm expecting us to see the most amount of restaurants go away in the next year or two than we've ever seen in our lives. And independent restaurants, big chains will probably make it through with these food cost increases right now. I can tell you right now, we're gonna lose a lot of them. I've seen prices up 30%, 35%, 40%, almost double some places. People just can't sustain that. These people here really maintain their yard it's beautiful, especially with all the cars in it. Lovely. Boarded up windows. In a nice part of town like this, it's just, oh, oh yeah. Nobody's living in that. Nobody. Guarantee you, nobody's living in there. Forget what this is called, like University Village. And then that's not a camping camper right there. No, 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 nobody lives in there. Just stop somewhere and camp. It's okay. Weather's lovely. And you can walk to the next street over and panhandle all day. It's fine. Panhandle a little, get some drug money, you know, do your thing, get in your van, go to sleep. Nice living. Don't think he's homeless, but he's definitely special. Two bottles of water and his groceries from Whole Foods. He's doing the right thing. Very green. I don't want any of that preservatives in my food. How do you think we feed the world? Every Everybody can really afford to live all natural like that. Especially the poor places in Africa. See, that, that's not good. It's probably a veteran living in a wheelchair. Uh-uh. That's just not good. You know, the funny thing is, all the liberals all say, oh, the veterans, this and that, we should help them, blah, blah, blah. You know what they were doing in the late, early 70s, right? Throwing stuff at them, coming, out of, coming from Vietnam. They weren't, it's not like they just like decided, hey, let me just go to Vietnam and fight for our country. No, a lot of them were drafted and they got, when they came home, the liberals were out there throwing stuff at them and, and yelling at them, calling them whatever. You know, and they all defected and went to Canada. Jeez. And then they're saying now, oh, well, we're for helping them. Oh, crap. Don't lie. Just so you know, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Wasn't a liberal, by the way. He was wearing red. Yeah. Better watch out. These guys look innocent, carry those backpacks, but a lot of times your stuff's in them. Right here in the busiest part of Hillcrest, whatever that is, closed up and got graffitied a little. That's just lovely. I mean, this is the part of town when there's just tons of restaurants and street stuff. And a business can't make it here. It's got to tell you some new stuff's coming. And it's not going to be very good. And just in case, he's got his mask on. And then there's this fella here with his hoodie. Yeah, he looks very trustworthy, I'm sure. Hmm. Must be one around here somewhere. He left his cart. Get an eyeful while you can. There's lots of that around here. That's one thing that's true. Lots of beautiful people. Hmm. This guy just ran across the street after that alarm went off. Interesting. Yep, this will be about every homeowner pretty soon. They ain't gonna be able to afford to have contractors do their work. They'll be out there doing it themselves. That's fine. Except when you're 80 years old, it's gonna be a little hard. What the heck? Interesting. God. That was a woman. Couldn't get it focused in on time. There was a young woman in the trash out there digging around. God. Attractive, too. It's a shame. And this fine gentleman here just lifted his shirt up for kind of weird. And we got this guy hobbling along here. We're in a really nice neighborhood, too. It's just every day. This is called Hillcrest. I mean, it's nice. And yeah, they didn't just do that one for the 
thing. That's normal outside dining, which is fine. Yeah, nice outside dining. No place to park, but you know, it's just the way it is in a big city like this. And then you got uh, somebody with a blanket here. Just every day. Let's just make it so expensive to live in our state that everybody has to do this sort of thing. Wow. That's what's gonna happen, guys. It's gonna get more and more and more expensive to live in California. Guess everybody ran out of change, so they're walking away from the downtown area. I don't know why, maybe they got sent away, who knows. Got tired of asking for money or they got enough already. There's another one right here, I think. Just hanging out with his cart. Oh, trash or something. Directing traffic or what? Interesting. I think he's he's just a skateboarder dude, but he's got a helmet on. Right in the middle of the road, making a left hand turn. I guess that's appropriate, right? <laughs> Interesting. Well, there certainly is a lot of other lovely areas to go see in this city. I think I'll have to make a second trip for all those because I'm going to run out of uh, memory pretty soon or I'll run out of time. And it's starting to rain right now, so that's not helping things. We'll see what else we can get in here before we get out of town and then uh, I think we'll just make another trip out. I know there's some areas that I, I add like towards thinking uh, towards like the military base area almost to Chula Vista that have some absolutely just lovely areas to go visit and the houses there are just just so nice you guys would enjoy it I'll see if I can make my way over there for just a little bit of a sight and then I know we'll have to make a second trip I'll just film my way along over there and this guy here is definitely tripping doesn't look like he would be when you just look at him first glance, but he's directing traffic and all kinds of stuff over there, talking to himself, talking to another guy. They weren't even talking to him. And there's this guy over there, missing out of the rain. In the lovely clothes business back there. Some marathon or something being ran today. I don't know what happened. Half the roads were shut down. Hey, look, a coffee shop. Um, no thanks. Not going in, sorry. That's not graffiti. No, that's fine. The only place where you can pitch a tent and just live. Hmm, looks pretty trustworthy to me. Funny thing is, it smells like skunks out there, but I can't figure out why I just don't see any black little things walking around. It does smell a lot like skunks. Hmm. Thrift store? Wow. I think I'll pass. No thanks. Especially with all the clothing's out in the rain, I think that really looks inviting. You know, the people that look so inviting outside. Hey, what about these guys? Think they're okay? Yeah. Not so much. The funny thing is, is I haven't even got near the worst part of town. There's places that are epically worse I just have to get to them and I haven't even got to them I just keep on seeing stuff to see you guys have probably seen those bridges where there's people all underneath them and just like a whole streets of homeless yeah they're, they're around I think it's more south of the city and I'm just trying to get there and I just keep seeing lovely stuff like this it's just lovely they just give these people the welcoming committee Oh, you're coming in town? No problem. Let me give you a tent. Let me give you some needles. Let me give you some food every Friday. We'll just bring it by. No problem. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> People are just gonna flock here like, like crazy. It's like, give them, enable them, give them some place. You know, give them. Oh yeah, you could just you know make a tent somewhere and you know and do drugs in you. You know, we won't bother you. And if you carry around bags like this guy, you know, we're not going to check to see what's in them. No, it's fine. And we don't want you to get uh, whatever that is. Hep uh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> we don't want you to have any problem with your needles, so we'll give you new ones. They do that in Canada. Look what happens. 
up in Vancouver, they just hand them needles, give them blankets, they give them all, and they stay. Huh. Wow. I'm so shocked. Why does that happen? What happens when you give a puppy uh, some food? They stay. <laughs> you enable them and they just will stick around, you guys. It's just crazy. I don't know why people still think that's just fine. You know, oh, we're helping them. No, you're enabling them. You're, you're giving them a spot. You're saying, it's okay. You can do a tent right here. Well, you're, you're gonna, we know you're going to do drugs in it, but we're not going to... We're not going to bother worrying about that, and we're not going to arrest you. You can just so what are they what are they going to do? And if you're doing crimes under nine hundred bucks, nine hundred fifty dollars, you know we won't even give you anything but a ticket. That's just like heaven to them. Oh no, staying on the side of the streets not heaven. To a drug addict who's addicted, hell is rehab or jail. So if you gave them hell, guess what? If all they got was hell every time they wanted something, what would happen? Tell me. Comments below. And has this city have ever, cha ever changed? You know, it used to be just tons of surfers. You know, guys all relaxed and cool. And it was, you know, in this parts of town where I'm in right now. And now it's just, there's so much more. Oh my goodness, I missed this one. Holy mackerel, big old tents over there. There's just so much of it, I just can't even. I drive by it, because I go, oh my god, oh, whoops, I didn't get to film that, okay. Well, I'll go back, and I try and go back, and I find five other things. Yeah, I remember coming here as a teenager, it didn't look like this. Look at all these closed places up. Tons of them along here. This was like, even these areas were pretty nice. Half the poor little street corner guy doesn't have bars up. They're gonna steal everything in his lot at night. All these ever so nice people going around. I don't think that was a child in that. You got these folks here. This guy over here. It's literally just every corner. They're spread out a bit. They're not all in their tents on the sidewalk, but they're everywhere. See? It's just like all over. Wow. Well, in the better part of town, they always have one of these guys. So you can sell off your stuff, I suppose. And the graffiti on the trash cans tells you something's good. And then this fellow over here, wow. No, it's not graffiti on that wall or anything. I'm surprised the tour rental guy has anything left in his lot. I think it's stolen, probably. Beer, wine, EBT, cigarettos. Okay, good. Thank you. Lovely. Hmm, checks cash. That guy just came out of there dancing. Oh, then there's this guy over here. Wow. I might just show you guys some of the lifestyle from around here. Work trucks, yeah. Apartment life, not so great. The bars and the windows just tell a story, guys. They just, oh boy. And the trash just, you know, and the bushes so manicured. It is lovely. People think, San Diego, what a cheerful, beautiful city. Yeah, the clutter, yeah. Swing set in the front yard just uh, doesn't make for an appealing process. This here is just, oh, it looks like jail, but very dirty and as well I think the jail yards are probably cleaner than this so yeah in all the cars and the graffiti on this one uh, you know it, it, it's you know it, it's not very rough really no no it's really not and then you know the fencing beware of dogs dog on premises beware there's five beware of dogs on that building there's not bars on that no no that's fine and the roof isn't falling off of that one or the roof on this one falling off. No, 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 no. That guy's building a new one over here, so just in case, you know, feel bad for him, actually. The cars on the street, uh, nice, 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 pretty old, pretty old. And nice, but it has a real weird, weird little dent, of course, like all of them do. Again, beware of dog, like three different signs. I kind of 
gives you an idea that they uh, don't want anyone in your yard. Maybe there's been trespassers before. Graffiti's touch-ups with black. I guess that worked. It got rid of it. And the yellow fence. Oh, yuck. Why do they ever think that looks good? You know, when there's this many cars out front and the houses are that small, it's got to tell you something's going on. Maybe there's one more than one family in there. Maybe they have like five apartments in one little tiny house. Oh, look at this. This area of town is just lovely. The manicured front areas and fences. Let's tell you everything you need to know. It's just, I, I just great. Look at that. Uh, it's got to live somewhere, I suppose. With the California rents as high as they are, people still are forced to live like this in a filthy little hovel. Look at this. That fence has just been painted like the only time it ever got painted is when they touched up the graffiti. That's a good time to do it, I guess. All right, well, is this gang activity? Yeah, it's possible. Or it could be just kids playing. I, I can't tell the difference out here today. It is just lovely. And this guy's got a Mercedes. Well, it's got a couple of dents in it, so that tells you something right there. An auction car for sure. No parking except for school buses. Uh, nobody listened. No, it actually says no stopping it's on school days. So anyway, yep, you gotta park wherever you can here because you got you know 20 cars for one house. So you know it's got. And this guy just left his jet ski out front. It was it looks like it just just left it there a week ago. I think it's just all rotten. The seat was gone. Yeah. Oh, the lovely San Diego. Huh, got a ground effects kit on a car with a back bumper that's missing. That's interesting. And the garage condition right there is just lovely. Ugh. The clutter and the bars. Ah. What the heck is that? I don't know. And I am not going in. Lowrider. Well, there seems to be lots of females getting picked up on the side of the road that just come out of a house. Could that be like some sort of escort service? I don't know how that works. Hmm. Junk removal. Maybe you should start with your own yard. Wow, cool old Mercedes. That's neat. Pretty sure it wasn't registered in a while. Nobody's checking around here. Ah, there we go. Style it up a little and live in that one. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it's a kind of a special neighborhood. Oh, the jumpy in the park tells you something. And then you got this fine gentleman over here. Uh, you know, he's doing his thing. And this van, and I'm certain there's no one living in that with the curtains closed. Plenty of places to stop around here. You just stop somewhere and, you know, camp. It's fine. Look at this. This area is just epic. It's so nice. I think we're going to go the other side of the freeway. How about that? You know that guy in the Dodge hauling ass down the freeway? That's where he lives, right there. Yeah, the one that ran you off the road? That's him. Oh, wait. Am I boxed in? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Ah. Hey, not a good place to live. Hmm, the Honda kid terrorizing the neighborhood. Lovely. Well, it looks like at some point this was a homeless haven. You can just see the path and the trash following it. But look at that. That's colorful. That was probably just homeless and maybe like bikes and stuff went in there all the way along see and you guys it's just constant it's like everywhere I go I just see something else it's like okay guy with a skateboard backpack yeah see get an eye full of it it's really everywhere it's pretty crazy 
It's like you can be in any part of this city, any part, and you just run into homeless people just randomly. Never, never, never was it like that. There was only a few in downtown like there is in every downtown. And now they're just everywhere. Yeah, everywhere you go. You drive through the city and all you see is just homeless. Oh my goodness. Huh. That's not closed. No, no. And that's really well open for business right there. Oh yeah, just love the graffiti on it. And if you're hungry, you can just stop at the taco guy or of course, is that a liquor store? I wouldn't be surprised. Then if you just need to, you can just use your motorhome. It's fine, sleep in there. God, I just love these old houses along here. My goodness. Right near the 805. Very conveniently located. I might even be in one of the outlying towns. I didn't get a chance to look at my map because I was heading to Torrance on my way out here. Out there it started to rain. I saw there was no rain in San Diego, so I decided to come down here. So I didn't get a chance to do my research in advance, but I think it would be pretty fun to just watch and see what's happening. See, you can see just how much the Democrats have made a wreck out of this state. It's just everywhere. Every city, and I'm gonna film as many as I can, every city has the same. There, there's another one. They're just everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just driving down the road. I'm just driving down the road. Almost watched this guy ran into the back of that guy. And terrible drivers. And you know, it's like I'm one of them too because I'm trying to film and drive at the same time. So I know, okay, yep. Yeah. I almost ran a red light back there. Uh, but I didn't. And so, anyway. But uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, wrecked homes. I mean, man. It's just in par parking in the yard because they gotta have too many people living in the same house. Wow, you should have seen the sideswipe car back there. Probably just from park, they just somebody just slammed into it <laughs> a couple nights ago. You know the neighborhood, and you know it's just like it's just gone to hell. The whole state, everywhere you go, it didn't used to be this way, guys. You know, uh, it's just because it's just. You start making more laws, you make things cost more, you make everything, everything cost more. Real estate costs more, building costs more, wages went up because of minimum wage. When minimum wage goes up, all wages go up because everything costs more that you buy with for, for minimum wage employees because their business was forced to pay them a higher rate when they weren't even ready for it. You know, businesses need to be able to dictate some of what wages are because based on their profitability and if their profitability isn't there they just start laying people off when they raise minimum wage and they have two or three people that do the job of one and they can't do the same job and then guess what the price of everything that they buy and sell goes up because something that they buy or sell it requires a minimum wage job now you know it just creates an inflation and it, yes, it is inflation. Inflation is, if you read the Webster Dictionary, it, it says in it, when the spending power of your dollar goes down. So it doesn't matter whether it was printed money inflation or inflation from minimum wage, it's still inflation. Okay, look it up. And you'll see just that what I'm saying is true. It's just minimum wage is going up. Oh, miss the mattress, guys. Holy, oh, the houses are getting lovely again. Oh my God. Oh, who, who this van coming up is just awesome. Look at that, how many windows are in that thing. Oh, then they got another market. They have one everywhere. It's like every corner. You don't even need a car to live here. And then you go to the barber shop in the same place. Cool. Oh, that's closed. Sorry. Oh. I guess you gotta shop somewhere. The life you have to live. Maybe came straight from Haiti. Looks like looks like she was a foreigner. Um, but yeah, they come to they go to the Mexican border and they just run across and then they just sit down. The people from uh, countries they can't send them home to, they just sit down. They just come get them and they apply for asylum. I mean, 
you can do that if you go through a normal border, but they don't because the they're told by the whatever the cartel that they can't do that and they extort them for money. Oh yeah, University Avenue again. Oh, this is the best street right here. It's just wonderful. Look at the graffiti touch up. At least they touch it up. But look at over there, it just happens like daily. It's all over the place. Don't even bother painting because it's fine. We just touch up graffiti. Holy crap, look at that building. Just touch it up. Oh my God. Oh, lovely. Nice bright colors again. <laughs> no, please don't do that. And the graffiti on the trailer. Oh, that's kind of arty, I guess. I think I'd rather see it in a like museum, not on the side of the road. Oh, this is just an eyeful. Wow, is this still San Diego? I think it is, I'm not sure. It's just so interesting. Oh, that apartment. Nice looking apartment, but it just scares me a bit. The people going in and out of there, just, eh. Neighborhood, yeah. Not so much. Oh my God, why do they keep doing this? Ha. Huh. That color on wrought iron, I don't care if it's a temple or not. It just looks disgusting. I'm sorry. Yuck. Well, this guy got the right idea. He got two 12 packs. Oh no, sorry. A 24 and a 12 pack. Hmm. Good thinking. Well, it is Sunday, so I mean, whatever. I don't think I've ever drank that much beer and God, I buy a six pack of beer and it lasts me like two weeks sometimes. It's crazy. But to each his own. I mean, there's a lot of people that drink, like to drink their beer on the weekend, but I'm not one of them. Yeah, they got, look at this parking along. It's a park. Oh. God, manicured park, too. Looks like they mowed that just. Freshly mowed in, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I still am in the city of San Diego because that one says City of San Diego, Colina del Sol. Nice. Ooh. I think I'll just get my barbecue out and go sit next to the junk removal guy and hang out at this park. Uh, no. It's homeless people barbecuing in the park. Holy crap. Hey guys, let's go have a barbecue. I stole some firewood from the guy up the road. It's all right. What are we gonna cook? Well, in the dumpster back there, I just saw some old chicken. It's fine. I'm certain it didn't put it in there because salmonella, because it didn't smell that bad. Just a little. Oh my goodness. It's just everywhere. Oh, this is just totally comical. I just can't believe what I see. I just drive, I'm walking down the road. Look, at, there's another homeless guy walking through their apartments. Oh crap, I wouldn't want to live there. Because he had a suitcase and a, and a bag full of stuff. Maybe they cleaned out the streets down there where they had all the camps. It's insane. Wow. I don't know when I get to the next town over, but. Anyway, we'll come back. I, I think I'm going to come back and do another one, but uh, in San Diego. And I'm going to find the. I'm going to do like San Diego Chula Vista maybe in the next one. And another grocery outlet. I oh, love those places. They're really cheap, but they have some. You got to watch the dates in there, you know? It's, some of the dates are a little off. So you got to watch out for that. But yeah, I think I'll come back to San Diego here in the future and we'll do some more video and. and check out some more stuff. If you guys maybe like the video, leave a comment, tell me what you think, tell me about what you want to see, tell me some street areas, I'll go back. I'm going to do like Hammett again, a few others I'm going to do again, um, and uh, because I, they're close, so I'm going to do those again because I actually, Hammett was kind of an experiment. I was just going through Hammett and I just thought, I was out there doing something and I was like, ah, my wife was somewhere and I said, I'm just going to go film something for fun, you know, see what happens. And 
the video kind of did well, so I thought, well, I'll just do some more of this because, uh, you know, that way I can get the information out there and show people all the loveliness of the cities and uh, the places that you don't really want to drive through, but you'd like to see what they look like. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe.